First, let's select the diode option in the multimeter. So I'm going to teach you guys how to test it. And also I'm going to know if this MOSFET is N channel MOSFET or P channel MOSFET using the multimeter, of course. For this kind of MOSFET, the first pin here is the gate. Okay. The second is for drain. And over here we have the source. So guys, I'm going to show you many methods for the first time you will hear about these techniques. So let's get started. First guys, you have to shunt between the gate and drain using any probe like this or just using your finger like this, okay? In order to get correct values. After that, let's put the black probe here in the drain and the red probe in the source. Good, we get a reading in the multimeter about 560. So if I swap the probes, this time the black probe here in the source and the red probe in the drain, you see, no reading. We have one in the multimeter, means this MOSFET is good MOSFET. And the type of this MOSFET is what? So the type of this MOSFET is N channel. Okay, guys, why in channel? Because I find the reading when I put the black probe here in the drain and the red probe in the source. I find the reading. Means this MOSFET is N channel. And to understand more guys for beginners, I can even draw for you the schematic for these MOSFETs. Here we have the gate. Okay. Here, let's see, we have drain. And over here, we have source. For N channel guys, you will find a diode in this direction, as you can see here, like this. From source to drain. So the anode connected to the source, the cathode connected to the drain. That's why I get a reading when I put the black probe in the drain here. Okay. Black probe in the drain and the red probe in the source. So black probe here in the drain, red probe here in the source, as you can see. Okay, we get a reading, black probe in the drain, red probe in the source. But if I touch the gate, guys, like this, and go and check again, we get no stable reading. Means this MOSFET is good. So let's discharge the MOSFET again. I can even swap the probes like this, guys. Pay attention. Here we get a reading, do you see? This is the second method. Here we get a normal reading, as you can see, 460. This is normal reading. But if you touch the gate, the reading will be a little bit low. Do you see? 100. So this is, guys, the techniques and methods. I'm sure you heard this technique for this, the first time. Sometimes when you touch the gate, you will get a buzzer, a continuity. But sometimes you can just get... A lower reading. Let's discharge the MOSFET again and do it again. So this is normal reading here. We have 460. Once I touch the gate like this, I should get a low reading. Not continuity, but low reading. So this MOSFET is good and this MOSFET is in channel because we get a reading, we get here 460 what drop voltage okay guys so this one here is good one okay let's move on to another mosfet so let's see this mosfet guys okay so always the same working principle we have gate drain and source okay so first of all let's discharge the mosfet by shunting between the gate and source using any probe like this or just use it, your finger like this good now the mosfet is discharged always the diode mode 
let's put the black probe here in the drain the red probe in the source we get already about 500 so let's swap the props the black probe in the source the red probe in the drain one okay so this one also is in charge let's recheck because guys now the mosfet seems to be good about 80 percent good we find a reading between drain and source but we should recheck using the second method the black probe in the drain the red probe in the source this is the right reading let's touch the gate with the red probe rotate again low reading good this is a good mosfet okay guys efficient okay let's let me shunt again the gate and drain a root check again we have to find 500 we have 500 if i touch the gate i should find a low reading about 100 let's check 100 this is good mosfet no the mosfet is good 100 percent but guys let's shunt again the mosfet but when you check the mosfet like this between drain and source you find 500 good reading the mosfet is good but about 80 percent you have to do the second test is by touching the gate using the red probe and then red check if you, if you get a low reading 100 so this is the method that no one told you about again guys discharge the mosfet first step check between drain and source we have ready means this mosfet is also in channel let's pass to the second test to be sure that the mosfet is good touch the gate okay and then red check we have to get low reading about 100 this is good mosfet 100 percent this one also is in channel i'm sure you hear this method for the first time let's see another one this one for example first discharge the mosfet second the black probe here in the drain and the red probe in the source oh guys this is a shorted mosfet let's discharge this mosfet like this and the root check again if we get a beep in the multimeter means the mosfet is shorted shorted mosfets guys this is shorted mosfets i can even swap the probes and they will get the same reading or uh, short mosfet this is a shorted mosfet guys so this mosfet is shorted shorted so here this one is shorted 